Islam is like a crystal clear river. Its water has no color, like this water right here. Okay, but in this cup, this is the same water, but it looks green, doesn't it? It looks green, but it's not. It's the same. And even if I look here, it's green. But it's the same water as here. So Islam is like a crystal clear river, but it takes on the color of the bedrock. That's what they say. So if the water flows over black rocks, it looks black, even though it's clear. If it flows over jade, it looks green. If it flows over sand, it looks sandy. And what they mean by that, and you'll see this, and you probably know this already, Islam in China looks Chinese. And Islam has been there for over 1,400 years. And they are Hanafis like most of you. And they are strict Hanafis. But they fit into China beautifully. Okay? So, um, you know, in Indonesia, Islam looks like the culture of Musanta. It looks Indonesian. It looks Malay. Of course, when the British came in and the Dutch came in, they said, would you build real mosques? Your mosques have to have domes. They have to look like Moroccan. And a lot of us did that, didn't we? You'll see that in Malaysia, you'll see that in other countries, and then we have to pay most of the budget just to get the algae off the dome. Whereas, you know, in the old traditional Malay and Indonesian mosque, you don't have any problem with that. It's cool, it ventilates, and it's sacred in the eyes of the people of Nusantara. Nusantara are the island people of Malaysia, of Singapore, of Indonesia, of Brunei, and of the Philippines. Okay, these are great people, great people. And in, in Africa, Islam looks African. Okay, wherever it goes, it takes on the local color. But the water remains clear. Okay, the water remains life-giving. Okay? Delicious, not green after all. Okay, but this is the way that Islam is supposed to be.